Good morning, everybody. We have a rather long poem this week and next week. So it is important that you pay attention and that you learn it stanza by stanza. There's two, four, six, eight, eight stanzas in this poem, which is a little bit longer than we have learned before, but I know you can do it. And it's a great poem. I know you'll like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The poem is called Father William by Lewis Carroll. You are old, Father William, the young man said, and your hair has become very white. And yet you incessantly stand on your head. Do you think at your age it is right? In my youth, Father William replied to his son, I feared it might injure my brain. But now I am perfectly sure I have none. Why, I do it again and again. You are old, said the youth as I mentioned before, and have grown most uncommonly fat. Yet you turned a back somersault in at the door. Pray, what is the reason for that? In my youth, said the sage as he shook his gray locks, I kept all my limbs very supple. By the use of this ointment, two, oh, one shilling a box, I'm sorry. Allow me to sell you a couple? You are old, said the youth, and your jaws are too weak for anything tougher than suet. Yet you finished the goose, both the bones and the beak. Pray, how did you manage to do it? In my youth, said the father, I took to the law, and I argued each case with my wife. And the muscular strength that it gave to my jaw has lasted the rest of my life. You are old, said the youth. One would hardly suppose that your eye was as steady as ever. Yet you balanced an eel on the end of your nose. What made you so awfully clever? Excuse me. I have answered three questions, and that is enough, said his father, don't give yourself airs. Do you think I can listen all day to such stuff? Be off or I'll kick you downstairs. Father William by Lewis Carroll.